Good morning. We're over here at Fit 44. Australia's got all these crazy gyms. F45, Fit 44. All I know, this is an empty gym, so it's perfect, perfect to film a shoulder workout in. So today, following the Swole program, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. What we're gonna do is a little bit of pre-exhaustion first. So I'm gonna train my weak areas of my shoulders the first two sets, and then we're gonna get into our more complex, heavy compound movements for our anterior delts, the big pressing exercises. We'll be doing a little bit more supersets, including some drop sets into this workout, and then focusing on the big primary movers for the shoulders. We're gonna jump into a superset. How many times do we start off with the superset? Not very often. So we're gonna set up the bench at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna be for medial, medial delt here. We're gonna use this first set kind of as a gauge. We're shooting for 12 reps on this. Facing down, chest on the pad. As we come out, we're gonna try to stay almost locked out. So I don't want you here. I want you just slightly bent. And as you come up, pretend you're pouring out water. You guys know the deal here. All the way down, oh, half second at the top. Taking the same dumbbells and going into our bent over dumbbell row. Now you can do these standing or you can do them seated. Chest all the way down to your knees, staying bent over the entire time. I don't want you swinging and coming up. All the way bent over and that is gonna be all rear delt. So again, tiny little muscles we're working here, pre-exhausting the shoulders with some isolation movements. It's a nice little way to wake up the shoulders. So we have three sets on each, supersets, 90 seconds rest, eight to 12 reps on each. So we're really gonna go 12, 10, eight. And that's gonna be our first three sets of our shoulder day. Hey. got style so it's like yo he can pull off it's like yes it's gym he's wearing it in the gym but like it could be on the street too look how long that is that an XL that's the large it's a large you know what I love about this piece right here it makes the shoulders look wider so this is like my favorite shoulder day piece just check it in the mirror looking like the shredder you guys remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie the shredder comes in he's got like this it's pretty damn aesthetic actually Now that we've worked on those weak point areas a little bit, we're gonna come back to them later on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get into a, kind of a mass movement. So the nice thing is we didn't really pre-fatigue a ton of anterior delt. We were more of that side and rear delt. So now we're gonna jump in to a pressing exercise, really hit that anterior delt. Um, this is the one that we're using our percentages of our one rep max on. So I'm just busting out the app and doing that. This is one of our heavier days here for our pressing so we're getting down to like two reps we always have a strength progression as well as our hypertrophy stuff that we're doing so this one is all based off of my one rep max if you have a quiet enough gym definitely take advantage of this we're supersetting our press with our YTW on a flat bench so what we're gonna be doing here this is more mobility work Elbow stays put, come up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The conversions to kilos, killing, kicking my butt right now. All right, four reps here. Yeah. Biggest thing with this, core tight. This is why you need to be following a program where you work off your one rep max. There's gonna be days that you come into the gym, you might be traveling to Australia. You're not gonna feel like lifting weights. Your body, your mind isn't gonna want to. You know, back home, it's a little bit, it's a different time of the day. I'm waking up early training here. This is 95% of my one rep max. I wouldn't put this on a normal bar. I'd be like, oh, I'm traveling, I need to do a light day, but I've done my mo I'm doing my mobility. I'm staying on a program, and what that's gonna allow me to do is continue to improve. If this was up to me and I was just doing whatever I felt like, I would not be putting this on the bar to press it today. Elbow stays put, come up. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So what we did is we pyramided up in weight, down in reps, and now we're going back up. So on the way down, I did this for two. We then hit our two rep heavy, heavy set. And now we're going back up. So I have this for three minutes. Last set of six reps here. Even though we didn't do a ton of reps on any given set, the total number of, number of reps is still, you know, fairly, fairly high. to our second pressing exercise here, which is gonna be a half kneeling dumbbell single arm press. We're gonna be using a neutral grip. We're gonna show you how it's done right now. Biggest reason we're doing them kneeling is it's gonna take any kind of momentum. Also, usually there's a breakdown in the body somewhere when we're doing a standing press. So this is just because we're closer to the ground, we're kind of anchoring ourselves a little bit better. So again, kneeling, this back leg, my glute stays flexed, keeping my core tight, pressing straight up. Locking it out. One, two, three, four, ah. That was a nice little warm up for reps here. We're gonna go eight, six, six, and each of those should be to failure or very close to failure. Superset our kneeling press, our kneeling dumbbell press with the off the knee rotation. Can't tell you how many of you guys come to me and say, Steve, I've started doing these. Helps so much with my shoulder. The biggest thing. Scoot that heel as close to your butt as you can. All the way down and up, all the way up. We got 12 here on each side. After this, we get 90 seconds rest and we're back into our kneeling press. Always remember, keep that elbow on the knee. The reason we don't just do them with air underneath of us, so that's gonna really jack up the shoulder. So making sure we have that stabilizing. Pressing is out of the way. Next up, working on a dumbbell, single arm, upright row. Working on that posterior delt still. A little bit of trap as we raise that elbow. As our elbow gets higher than our shoulder, we're bringing in a lot more trap there. So we have single arm, dumbbell, and then we also have a rear cable, a rear delt cable fly. If we can get on the cables over there. I don't know if we can. Yo some Nikki B, Whitney Simmons lookalikes are over there on our, our cable. 10, eight, six for rep ranges here. So this first one's 10. Biggest thing here, core nice and tight, pulling out and up. Two, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight. Since our cables are being taken, we're gonna try to improvise. Grabbing a TRX. You can make these harder or easier just by changing your stance. That's gonna be harder. This is gonna be easier. Just because some Gymshark girls have stolen my cable apparatus doesn't mean I'm not training my posterior delts. So for our last movement, we're getting back to a little bit more isolation. We're gonna be doing standing, single arm, dumbbell side raise, leaning against. So come up against something stationary, grab your dumbbell, and what we're gonna be doing is coming straight out to the side, fighting on the way down. The eccentric portion of this is just as important to Three, try to take away any swinging and momentum. Uh, eight, 
We have three sets of 10 here. After that, straight into our plate front raise. Coming straight up. One, two, three, four. Only 60 seconds rest in between here. That's one round down. We got two more to go. And it's done with shoulders. Uh, we still got those bike sprints, but what we're doing on those, 20 seconds all out, 40 seconds. So we're gonna go 20 seconds all out, 40 second recovery. So every minute on the minute, 20 seconds all out. Do that for 10 rounds. That's all you got today. Make sure you get it done. There you go. There you go. Stop. You killed that. 